In this classroom, the aisles are wide enough for a wheelchair or students carrying backpacks to move through comfortably. These are my students with IEPs. Annie has had a spinal trauma with the loss of use of her legs. Carlos has been diagnosed as level 1 on the DSM-5 autistic spectrum. Under stress, he begins to name each student in the classroom or repeat a sentence from the textbook or handout. His assistant helps him refocus through video models on his tablet computer. Barney has been diagnosed as level 2 on the DSM-5 autistic spectrum. He needs frequent video modeling, and his assistant models tasks before he attempts them. Sometimes I will stepwise model a task for the class so that he can then perform it himself. This helps everyone. Denis does not have an IEP, but his native language is French. He is from Central Africa. This is a ninth grade geometry classroom. Today our objective is to find the measures of interior and exterior angles of triangles and apply theorems regarding interior and exterior angles. In my class, students are required to sit in the same seats. At first, a few students wanted to change seats, but Barney became agitated until they went to their right seat. Annie sits in the seat closest to the door because she and Carlos and Barney need extra time to get to their next class, so Annie signals them when it is time to leave. This helps them to get to their next class and gives the rest of us time to reorganize and get ready for class dismissal. If Annie is absent, I make the leaving announcement that day, and Carlos and Barney know that. This is added to their video log during homeroom. Making each day less stressful helps Carlos and Barney succeed in the classroom. The class has two stations they may use for this exercise. Students have a worksheet with exercises they may complete at their desks, or they may use the computers at the back and side of the room, which have software to create triangles and make calculations with immediate feedback. I explained today's lesson avoiding speech that includes metaphors, but that also helps Denis, who has no IEP. Every student is given a choice, but Barney has more difficulty with novel situations. He has known about this assignment for two weeks, as did the rest of the class. I reminded him about it two days ago. He made his decision at home and has entered it in his video schedule on his tablet computer. This helps to relieve stress that might provoke repetitive behavior. Carlos deals with stress better and makes his choice in the class. Scheduling assignments that involve choices helps every student make decisions in class and each student knows they will have a chance to complete each task today. The lesson itself incorporates ideas and concepts we have used before, like measuring lines and angles and using equations to determine new information about geometric figures. This helps all students scaffold skills and concepts to learn new material. Choices are part of every class, even when Carlos and Barney are not there, just like the four-foot aisles between rows. They help Carlos and Barney, but in following principles of universal design for learning, those accommodations help every student.